Hello friends, now I am going to discuss about syllogisms. This is the second tutorial of syllogisms. Previously we have learned the basics of syllogisms, how to draw Venn diagrams and we have also seen some examples. In this video let us see some more examples. But before going into the examples, I would like to tell you something important. That is, in syllogisms we know that we have statements. But in that statements, for example, all books are magazines. In this statement, here this all, it is called as quantifier and the books is called as subject. This R is called as copula and this magazines is called as predicate. Uh, consider another example. Some magazines are novels. Also here, this sum is called as quantifier. The magazines is called as subject. R is called as copula and the novels is called as predicate. Anything, this all, some, some not and this no, these are called quantifiers, okay? And the first thing, next, the thing followed by quantifier is called as subject and the last one is called as predicate, okay? Now let us go to the examples. So here is our first example. Here three statements are given, some bags or purses, some purses are wallets and no wallet is a box. First, we know we have to draw a Venn diagram. So let us see this Venn diagram some bags or purses so here some bags or purses and then some purses or wallets so some purses or wallets and then no wallet is a box so we have drawn the venn diagram satisfying the three statements then let us go to the conclusions no box is a purse no box this is sorry this is box no box is a purse we know we only know the relationship between wallet and box but we don't know the relationship between purse and box right so we cannot say that a purse is a box or a purse may not be a box. So we can't say it definitely. So this conclusion does not follow. Okay. Then no wallet is a bag. This is wallet and this is bag. In this case some bags are purses and some purses are wallets. So some bags can be wallets. But we, we can't say we can't say that definitely. Some bags can be wallets and some bags cannot be wallets. We, we can't say definitely that some uh, no wallet is a bag or no uh, some wallets are bags. So we can't say definitely. So this conclusion also doesn't follow. Next, then go to the next conclusion. Some purses or bags. Some purses or bags. It is clearly given in the statement that some bags are purses. Then definitely some purses will also be bags. So this conclusion follows. Then going to the next conclusion some wallets or bags some wallets or bags so as i said some wallets may be bags and some wall some wallets may be bags or may not be bags so we can't say it definitely so it is also a wrong conclusion the statement to no wallet is bad there also we can't say it definitely whether a wallet is a bag or well wallet may not be a bag so only our three con um, third conclusion follows here but here, one important thing I want to say is about either or. Either or. What is either or? Sometimes, even if our conclusions are wrong also, they may follow. That is, either one conclusion or another conclusion may follow. That I'll tell you how. To satisfy either or, two conclusions should follow three conditions. Those three conditions are... Both the conclusions should be wrong. That is, both the conclusions should not follow. And, and next, one conclusion, sorry, next, uh, the subjects and predicates of both the conclusions should be same. The subjects and predicates. Should be same and then last con condition is one conclusion should be positive and the other should be negative okay so let's uh, go to our example here in our example we have four conclusions in which three are wrong so if we see that in two and four 
in these two statements these two statements are wrong that is the both doesn't follow and the subjects of both the conclusion and the predicates of both the conclusions are same your wallet and wallet and bag and bag so subjects and predicates of both the conclusions are same and this statement is negative no wallet is a bag we already discussed in the first tutorial the statement which begin with no is negative and the statement which begin with with some is i'm sorry the statement some is positive some not is negative so this is some and this is no this is positive and this is negative so these two conclusions follows all the three conditions so then also these two conditions will be will follow but not at the same time either this conclusion will follow or this conclusion will follow so our answer will be either conclusion 2 or 4 and conclusion 3 follows so our option uh, our option will be c either conclusion 2 or 4 and 3 follows okay i hope you understood now let us discuss another example see here four statements are given some engineers are intelligent all in intelligent are beautiful all beautiful are good looking and some good looking are doctors okay fine now we have to draw the venn diagram so so this is already drawn let's see some engineers are intelligent some engineers are intelligent okay next all these intelligent are beautiful and all these beautiful are good looking and then the last statement is some good looking are doctors okay these some good looking are doctors okay now let's go to the conclusion some doctors are intelligent this conclusion one says this some doctors are intelligent we we only know the relationship between good looking and doctors but we don't know the relationship between intelligent and doctors so we can't say anything about this conclusion so this conclusion doesn't follow okay now let us see the second exam second conclusion some good looking some good looking are in engineers here we have seen all the intelligent or beautiful and all beautiful or good looking if all in then it says if all intelligent or good looking if some intelligent or engineers then some good looking will also be engineers so our conclusion two follows and then no doctor is intelligent same case we don't know the relationship between doctor and intelligent we can't say anything about this conclusion so this conclusion doesn't follow and then some good looking are intelligent here this figure shows you all intelligent or good looking if all intelligent are good looking definitely some good looking will be intelligent right so our conclusion 4 follows okay here are 1 and 3 doesn't follow but 2 and 4 follows but if we carefully observe 1 and 3 uh, some doctors are intelligent and no doctor is intelligent here both the conclusions are not are wrong that is they don't follow and both the in both the conclusions the subjects and predicates are same and also some doctors are intelligent is positive statement and no doctor is intelligent is negative so these two can these two conclusions follow either or condition so our answer will be either conclusion 1 or conclusion 3 and conclusion 2 and 4 follows so that's it next sir so option b will be the answer uh in some cases some uh in some cases the questions will be asked like uh, it will not give the conclusions directly they will ask the conclusions like uh, 0% doctors are intelligent uh, 2% uh, 2% engineers are intelligent or each good looking is engineer like uh, they don't ask the conclusions directly like uh, all doctors are intelligent some engineers are intelligent like that they will ask in this way to confuse you but don't worry uh, here 0% only means no so this statement represents no doctors are intelligent 2% means some so it this this statement represents some engineers are intelligent okay and each represents all so each good looking is engineer and most not most not means some not some not means some doctors are not good looking okay we also have some more like this so this is these are very important please note note down these see here each every any 100% 102% not only 100% or 102% anything about or equal to 100% these all represent all and not never none and 0% only 0% not never none 0% represents no and many most few us a few little a little at least 1% and also anything from 1% to 99% anything in between 1% to 99% that is 2% 3% 33% anything between 1% to 99% and all these these represent some and not all all not may not most not few not these represent some not so 
if the conclusions are given in this way please don't don't get confused and don't worry please note down these and learn this then you will you can definitely answer the questions okay so that's it about our direct or definite statements uh, we have uh, possibility statements also so we will discuss about these possibility statements in our next tutorial so thank you for watching our tutorial for more for more tutorials subscribe to our channel learnlikepro.com thank you